hello everyone welcome to success education in this video we'll do the solution for science journal for standard 6 experiment number 2 the aim is to separate the components from the mixture of sand and salt before that if you have not subscribed my channel till now please do subscribe it for more videos so we'll continue with the experiment number 2 the apparatus and materials for the same are filter paper funnel beaker wire gaze tripod and bunsen burner the substances to be used are salt sand and water you need to draw the same figure which is given below only and the procedure is take a mixture of sand and salt in a beaker and add some water to it separate the sand by filtration the uh, decanted liquid contains salt and sand remains behind on the filter paper infiltrate salt will be in solute form salt and water are to be separated from it now heat the beaker with this solution until the water turns into steam after all the water gets evaporated the salt is left behind in the beaker the observation is salt is left behind in the beaker steam gets evaporated conclusion is a mixture of salt and sand can be uh, separated by combining the processes of decantation filtration evaporation and condensation now test your knowledge question number one is mcqs so for that first one is which of the following methods is used to separate husk from grains it's option number b winnowing second Name the process used for separating a mixture of two liquids that do not mix with each other. It's option number C, decantation. Third, name the process used to separate dissolved solids from water. It's option number C, evaporation. Now we'll continue with question number two that is define. First one is condensation. The process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form is called condensation. Second, saturated solution. A saturated solution is the one in which no more solute can be dissolved further at a given temperature. And here we come to the end of experiment number 2. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comments section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.